Uh, we need to inform British Columbians about how the politics works. I think there's a lot of people who don't understand how politics works, uh, and particularly how politics works in the back room, how political parties are structured, how they're financed, how candidates are financed, some of the issues that are now being addressed, for example, by the Occupy Wall Street movement, where they're asking the questions about whether or not their politicians are being bought, and and public policy, therefore, is actually a function of money and not a function of what it should be, which is good governance and making sure that all British Columbians are taken care of with their electoral system and the way that they're governed. So Integrity BC came along, I think, at a good time. Uh, I think the new campaign they're about to mount around election finance reform and trying to engage British Columbians in actually signing a petition and making it known to politicians that they want fundamental change in election finance is very timely and I hope British Columbians work with Integrity BC to send that message to Victoria. Again, I think with the Occupy movement going global, people are aware that things are not right, but they're not quite clear on how you change it. One of the reasons I got involved in politics was because I thought that you could change it or had to change it from inside. An organization like Integrity BC, if it can foster conversations all around the province about what it needs to look differently or how it needs to look differently, uh, I think that's important. So not just on the negative frame, not just saying here's what's wrong, but fostering, fostering conversations about what could be done to change the system and make it work.